So what is PFAS? Depending on which agency <laughs> or which uh, r and uh, research uh, center you ask, uh, essentially, right now, PFAS include more than 12,000 chemicals. And with PTFD, uh, the Teflon is probably the most popular and well-known PFAS. And they can be monomer, they can be polymer, they can be polymer in any form, solid, coating, aerosol. They are all considered as PFAS. So are all 12,000 bad uh, substance? No, <laughs> they are not all bad. So far, uh, medical studies has identified two, uh, PFOA and PFOS, and several of its derivatives with similar chemical structure to be of immediate concern on health. By health, uh, they are talking about health uh, uh, effects like cancer and birth defects, and that has been medically proven. So where do we find PFAS? Unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately or fortunately, <laughs> the answer is everywhere. For example, Teflon, PTFD, is probably one of the quickest inventions by DuPont. You can find it everywhere. In your fry pan, if you order a pizza, your pizza <laughs> uh, uh, box has, tef has a PTFD liner so that the pizza doesn't get stuck on it. It's everywhere. And tap water, your water is is tap on. <laughs> and now, uh, the problem is that some of the bad PFAS that I talk about, PFOA and PFOS, they were used as surfactant and precursor for tap form prior to 2014. So even though uh, tap form has not been manufactured involving any PFOA and PFOS, they, uh, PTFD from time to time uh, is being lumped together with the bad PFAS. And this explains the difference between uh, the PFOA and PFOS and Teflon or PTFD. PFOA and PFOS has one very distinct characteristic. It has, on the right hand side, it has the hydrophilic head. So what that means is that it's water soluble, like a fatty acid. If you replace the uh, foreign atom with hydrogen, it's actually fatty acid. Because it's water soluble, it can enter your bloodstream through the intestine, and that make it wet. Uh, that make it harmful because of the effect it can accumulate in the human body. I'm not a biochemist, but with the hydrophilic head, it can react uh, biologically and cause mutation and all those uh, cancer and birth defect concern. That's PFOA and PFOS. We call it bad PFAS. Okay, this is a term uh, NEMA start to use, and um, we all know who NEMA is, uh, National Electrical Manufacturing Association. What they are trying to do is to explain the difference between electrical PFAS, the PTFG or the uh, P, uh, related PFA and FEP. They are the mold grade of PTFG, and they because it is 100% hydrophobic. And that's why water doesn't stick to it. <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> it cannot be corroded. It just stays there forever. And if you look at the chemical structure, it is entirely different than the bad PFAS that are soluble. They don't have the uh, hydrophilic uh, head. <laughs>